Hello, welcome back to the shop. I got my parts back and uh, from my friend and they were uh, grinded a little bit so that these craters are getting a little bit smoothed down and also on the, onto the piston looks better than it was before I did not took um, some material of this to not lose some performance of the of the compressor so now this is the procedure how to put on the so, piston rings back. back to reuse the old parts I cleaned it up with brake cleaner and now I'll we'll put them on with my piston ring compressor. Put it in. Always keep in mind to put it on the right side. There's a marking top. Fit the ring inside. Everything is in place. Into the groove. There you go. And he's inside. So the next one is prepared. There's also a marking called top and as well prepare. Yes and another tip is to assemble at first this ring and then the top ring because you have to get over the other ring and that's not so convenient. For the oil scrapering it's not so not so difficult because you could slide it also from, from the bottom side over. But for this groove first assemble the bottom ring and then the top ring. And as well here look at the marking top put the ring inside Yes, and with bigger pistons and rings it's more easy to handle this job than with the small rings. Okay, next one. Put it into the groove and release the compressor. And the last one. And also here the marking top. That's it. It's 
so now we'll show the procedure how to get this pin and the piston onto the connecting rod um, I've lubricated the bushing of this connecting rod and also the pin here but it stucks a little bit and um, if you put out this pin here you have to expand the aluminum here around and heat is the best way to do that so I got here my hot air gun and I will warm up this region here and then I will I'm able to slide this this pin here without a big force as you can see it's stucking a little bit and that is almost too much okay And it's has had some I don't know 40 degrees, and as you can see, the pit is sliding pretty easy outwards. Put it in like that, and now I got here my orientation. Put here an F for the front, and now put the pin onto the just slide it a little bit more so slide it on that's it all I have to do is to put these um, snap rings inside. Yep, there you go. Fold here that it if it brings away and grab the shit so that one went better so that's it snap ring is back be sure that snap ring is in the groove this one is green groove in the groove so next step will be honing the cylinder bore so next procedure is honing the cylinder bore we got here some crosshatch pattern but it's not anymore really available so I will do this as well first thing first thing is to lubricate the surface I use engineer and also on the stones stones and 
spread it over the whole surface. Okay, then compress the own stones and start to and the filling. And now the tree the speed of your drill because you want to have a cross head pattern. Okay. Hatch pattern. As well, put some lubrication. Also, get moving. And there you can see. I guess we had too much speed. We have to get in to the procedure again. This is not a real crosshatch pattern, but we're on a, on a good way. That means we have to increase the uh, frequency of the stroke or reduce the speed of the stone. This looks more like a cross hatch. But I guess we have to do the same from the bottom side to get a real cross hatch. That's okay. Good. Now the big challenge comes. How to assemble the piston and piston rings onto the cylinder bore. On a, on the on the big engine on the Perkins engine last year, that was not so the big deal because the pistons and connecting rods were not connected to the crankshaft but here it is assembled to the crankshaft so I have to slide the the bore over the um, over the piston and not the piston into the bore But I guess we will accomplish also that. Okay, I already built myself a tool. I was inspired by my oil filter removal tool. 
with this band but obvi obviously this is not working properly because this step here is too high and I'm not able to put the the cylinder on it so I build up something by myself with this tiny little nut here and I guess this should work but we will have a look orient your piston rings and then in some lube and everything is lubricated pretty nice fresh engine oil Let's have a try. You see that? Son of a gun. There you go, bitch. Now open it up. So, that is why it's a homemade tool, which doesn't cost very much. So, that's it. I locked it up with this piece of wood. And it's working. I have to admit, that was the first time I did this, and it worked pretty fine. Well, now reassemble the nuts, and then I will put the head back on.
Okay.